Well, hi, and welcome to another edition of From the Pastor's Pen. My name is Pastor Carl Miller, and I am the pastor of Heritage Presbyterian Church in New Braunfels, Texas. Today's edition is entitled Evil in the Tabernacle. And this is part three of the series that I've been doing in 1 Samuel chapter 2. The focus text today will be on verses 22 through 26. And there we read, Now Eli was very old, and he heard everything his sons did to all Israel, and how they lay with the women who assembled at the door of the tabernacle of meeting. So he said to them, Why do you do such things? For I hear of your evil dealings from all the people. No, my sons, for it is not a good report that I hear. You make the Lord's people transgress. If one man sins against another, God will judge him. But if a man sins against the Lord, who will intercede for him? Nevertheless, they did not heed the voice of their father, because the Lord desired to kill them. And the child Samuel grew in stature and in favor, both with the Lord and men. Well, my friends, when wicked men are allowed to run in the house of God, their hypocritical actions and heinous sins become more and more evident as they offend God and hurt others. This was the sad but true reality as Hophni and Phinehas abhorred God's commands especially those regarding worship and sacrifice, which we read of in verse 17. Hophni and Phinehas were such poor leaders of the people. They were poor witnesses to the people, as well as poor instructors of them in word and example.